Hello, I'm Dave Cordwood from Flyer Magazine, and I'm here with Damien Fauvet, founder and CEO of TurboTech, a new French, a new French company. Hello, Hello. I'm, yes, I'm Damien Fauvet, so as you said, I'm the founder of C and CEO of TurboTech, which is, as you said, a French company based near Paris. Uh, we are on an airfield, which is named Toussul Noble, and we develop this new product, which is the first regenerative turboprop in the world to be put in the market. So, when you say it's a regenerative turboprop, could you explain that? Yes, absolutely. Um, as you know, turbines are uh, very um, uh, is the, the perfect engine for big aviation. But when you scale down, there is a problem. There is still many advantages, but there is a disadvantage that appear in the fuel consumption uh, because of the thermodynamic cycle that is not uh, as uh, high as big engine. It's not possible to have high pressure and high temperature because we can't put in place the technology that you have in big engine on small engines. So the fuel consumption will be very high. Uh, when we speak about that, we speak about a normal cycle. Uh, the regenerative cycle is uh, an old idea uh, that exists since a long time. It's to recover the heat from the exhaust gas of the turbine with a heat exchanger, which is here. And this regenerative cycle is used in battle tank in United States, on boats, uh, on big electric plants on ground, but were never deployed in um, air aircraft engine. And it's what we've done by developing a very compact and very light heat exchanger which is uh, this part of the engine at the rear. So this, uh, this engine we know is fitted into the JMB VL3 and also the Bristol uh, B23. What, are, what other applications are there for it? Yes, so we have the chance to be on the leader of the market. Uh, as you say, GMB, there is two, uh, two aircraft on their booth equipped with our turbines. There is Bristol. We also equipped uh, two helicopters, uh, one in Belgium and one in France, because this turbine engine is in turboprop version or turboshaft version for helicopter. Uh, and we plan to motorize and to, to to, to engineer um, yeah, many aircraft and many helicopters. Both applications in ultralight are uh, uh, in our target uh, market. Could you tell me a bit about the background of the company? Yes, the company was founded by uh, four guys who, which, uh, which come from a big uh, aeronautic group. We come from Safran. Uh, the company was created five years ago, but at the beginning of the project, it was, uh, um, let's say, uh, a backyard uh, project. We done that aside our job at Safran, uh, just to louse on the weekend and on holidays. Uh, but five years ago, when we managed to, to, to make a, a, um, a demonstrator that worked very well we decided to create the company uh, so it was five years ago and uh, Safran Group invested in our company uh, in aside another uh, equity fund uh, and we are granted by the French government um, now we have many other projects for example we will convert them uh, to hydrogen uh, and historically so there is four guys that fund the, 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 the company um, also a company that develops the microtubes uh, for the heat exchanger. It's part of uh, TurboTech and we have the participation of uh, Safran Group. Yeah. What have you got planned for the future? Yeah, as I told you, we, we will put on the market this uh, engine. It's a 130 horsepower, non-certified. We will grow during two or three years in the experimental and uncertified ultralight market. Uh, and after, we plan to certify this engine. We are uh, ever in discussion with EASA to, to, to certify it. Uh, we also plan to install this, um, this engine in certified engine by covering the installation by the type certificate of the plane. But clearly, certification is uh, our next big target. And we plan to make a 250 horsepower engine for bigger application. This engine will be certified. And after, maybe a more powerful engine in the, in the future. Do you think, do you think hydrogen uh, engines have a, have a future? Sorry? Do you think hydrogen engines have a future? Oh, yeah, yes, absolutely, sorry. Uh, we plan to make hydrogen because uh, the French government um, uh, 
gave us a, a project which is called Beauty Fuel. It's a, a 30 month project. Uh, Turbotech is the leader of a consortium with uh, Air Liquide, a big uh, French company who make uh, uh, liquid hydrogen, uh, Safran. Daer, uh, aircraft manufacturer, Elixir Aircraft, uh, and after uh, the goal of this uh, of this um, project is to transform our engine in a self um, sustainable air fuel, safe, and after to convert them in hydrogen and become to make a certification of a cryogenic uh, propulsion system. So it can be for the future, it's a long term, maybe in 20 years, but it's a, it's a goal for the future to, to make a, a hydrogen engine for a decarbonization of, uh, of uh, aircraft propulsion systems. Mr. Fauvet, thank you very much for your yeah, time. Thank you. So remember, like, comment, subscribe.